Well, good morning. This is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'm in the middle of a series called Love Poems from God, and it's selections from 12 Sacred Voices from the East and the West, and it was a collaboration put together by Daniel Ladinsky, the translator of The Gift. And right now we're going through the poetry written by... um, Rabia Abbasra, and she was considered a very influential Islamic saint of the Sufi tradition um, that actually predated Rumi, which many people are familiar with Rumi. This was actually my first encounter with her, and man, I am enjoying the work that she has given us in the world. So the first poem is called Jealous of a Pond. When God said, My hands are yours. I saw that I could heal any creature in this world. I saw that the divine beauty in each heart is the root of all time and space. I was once a sleeping ocean and in a dream became jealous of a pond. A penny can be eyed in the street and a war can break out over it amongst the poor. Until we know that God lives in us, and we can see him there, a great poverty we suffer. This next one is called, I Hope God Thinks Like That. There is a dog I sometimes take for a walk and turn loose in a field. When I cannot give her that freedom, I feel in debt. I hope God thinks like that and is keeping track of all the bliss he owes me. It acts like love. It acts like love, music. It reaches toward the face, touches it, and tries to let you know his promise that it will all be okay. It acts like love music and tells the feet you do not have to be so burdened my body is covered with wounds this world made but I still long to kiss him even when God said could you also kiss the hand that caused each car for you will not find me until you do it does that music It helps me to forgive. The moon was once a moth. The moon was once a moth who ran to her lover. They embraced and she ultimately passed away with such a smile everywhere on her body. Over a period of time, her wings fell to the earth and sanctified the meadows Angels came and buried the limbs that touched his mouth. The moon was once a moth who ran to God. They entwined. Now just her luminous soul remains, and we gaze at it at night. This last one is called a vase. I am always holding a priceless vase in my hands. If you asked me about the deeper truths of the path and I told you the answers, it would be like handing sacred relics to you. But most have their hands tied behind their back. That is, most are not free of events their eyes have seen and their ears have heard and their bodies have felt. Most cannot focus their abilities in the present and might drop what I said. So I'll wait. I don't mind waiting until your love for all makes luminous the now. Thanks so much for listening to the podcast. If you'd like, you can go ahead and send this around to someone who might need these words today. 
And of course, you can always subscribe so you can listen to it just at the right moments that you need it.